Welcome to Dude RV, and you got here just in time doing an unboxing today because we had a box show up from that company right there. They are by no means considered a channel sponsor because I we had to pay quite a bit of money for this. But you might find some interest in it. There's, there's, we're hoping it's going to help us with our connectivity needs. I actually ordered this three days ago and it was a, yeah, it was Friday. And it showed up today as a Sunday. Now I just got to figure out how to move it to somewhere else. But I got to unbox and learn how the whole thing works first before we can go somewhere else. I don't even know if it's going to work here. Well, we'll see. But let's get the box open, uh, see what components are in there, and then i got to read some instructions and work with it, and then I'll cut back in. Well, let's, let's just open the box first. It's a big box. Much bigger box than I was expecting. Of course, I, I don't know what I was expecting. Gives you written instructions right there on how that's supposed to be configured. Everything is in the box. Now, I don't know how they expect us to, to read that. Hopefully the app will have better, easier to read documentation. All right, I'm gonna go educate myself on this fancy new piece of equipment. I got a whole bunch of cable. The big question is now is, how portable is it going to be? It's been a couple of days since I did that Starlink unbox, the setup of Starlink. It is super simple. You pull it out of the box, the wires are already connected. So all you have to do is plug it into the wall and run the, the, the satellite dish out to your location. They give you I think it's 75 feet of cable. Plenty enough. I had it actually outside the fence the other day. On the Starlink app, there's a tool that connects to your camera and you can do a whole scan and it will tell you if it's a good location or not. It, it's really that simple to find a location. And once it's plugged in, it turns on and you'll find the Starlink in your Wi-Fi list on whatever device you're using. I was using my phone. I went into the Wi-Fi on the phone, found Starlink connected to it, 
and then back into the Starlink app, it will prompt you to rename and put a password. Once that's done, you have to reconnect to that Wi-Fi, the new Wi-Fi name, and you're done. Literally, it was, it was that simple. Uh, it took 10 minutes. Now, now that we know how to set up Starlink, let's go inside and get on the computer, and I'll show you how to get Starlink in three days, or at least how I was able to get Starlink in three days. And we'll talk a little bit more about connectivity. So let's talk about how to get Starlink in three days, or at least how I was able to get Starlink in three days. Now when we purchased our 10 acres down in Southeast Texas, we knew going in that there was gonna be very limited internet access. And then Yappy got her new digital position, her virtual world opportunity. And that's gonna give us lots of flexibility to travel provided she's able to have connectivity and that that virtual <laughs> that metaverse that she's working in it takes a lot of connectivity and we were pretty certain that the 4g and 5g cellular connections are not going to be the best option for her position but if we could get starlink that might work for us because it we have connectivity provided their satellite in the air. I learned this technique from someone else on YouTube, uh, but I thought I'd share it with you as well because you may not know how to get Starlink if you need it like right now, and if you want it right now. And here in the rest of this video, I'm gonna talk about how well it's working for us. The first thing you need to keep in mind that Starlink is rolling out uh, in areas, rural areas. Uh, and, and you may get that message that says it's not available. For instance, let me put in, tell you what, we'll just go with my old address. If I order it now, you're going to get the message that says order now to reserve because it's currently at capacity in your area. And you put out a deposit and you may, you may see it in a year. If you need it faster, you need to find an address where it's available. And so I went way up north because that was where they first rolled out service and found an address of an uh, abandoned property. I did a little research. You can find abandoned or empty vacant properties through real estate searches. So I found a property. And click the order now. And you'll get this message. Service for this order is only guaranteed at this location. And we're going to talk about that later on in the video. So you put in your, your purchase information. And the most important thing, so that's the, the service area. And then you have your billing information. And then when you get further into this, billing information. And once you get the billing information put in there, and you get the place order, then you get the shipping information screen. And on the shipping information screen, you will want to put your shipping address and the unit will be shipped to your shipping address. Now they're gonna tell you that it's only guaranteed to work at that location. But what I have found is that's not necessarily true. All right, let's go outside and talk about this. Now we know how to get Starlink in three days. Now, keep in mind, I don't know if that's what, I don't know how Starlink feels about that. 
You know, I, but I used my mother's address because our intention is to be there part time. And I spend enough time there, I'll be using Starlink because connectivity with cellular connectivity at my mother's is horrible. So I'll be using Starlink when I visit her, and I visit her on a frequent basis. But what surprised me is when I was educating myself after unboxing what's, and educating myself on how to set it up and connect it, once I had it set up, and I found that I actually had internet connection, that it was actually working here, 90 miles from the service address. I saw a video a couple weeks, actually last week, uh, there were, someone was talking about Elon Musk having sent out that tweet about enabling roaming, Starlink roaming being enabled. And that really is what prompted me to see if, how, if I could get a Starlink system. I didn't expect to be able to get a Starlink system in three days. Uh, that just I, I was thinking it would be a six month or something like that. Certainly not three days. But that was how I got Starlink in, in three days. And then I found that I actually had connectivity here, which is cool. Uh, I have not changed the service address. Uh, I have not really had a need to change the service address. It's working. When it's, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'll be traveling over the next two weeks and taking Starlink with me and see if it is still working as I roam about the state of Texas. It, Starlink may not be the right choice for you though. And I recognize that our situation is unique with Yappy being in working in the metaverse now and when she's doing her job in the metaverse, man, that takes up some serious bandwidth. And I, I don't think our cellular data connections are gonna be sufficient enough to handle that and we will definitely be uh, capping out and getting throttled. And we can't tolerate that. So I've done some speed tests comparing Starlink to three different connections. I compared it to the AT&T fiber, which is what we have here at home base. Then I've also compared it to our Verizon Jetpack. It's 4G and the AT&T modem in Trudy Thunder, the motorhome. Now we usually have real good connection with, with that AT&T modem, but here at home base, I, I guess it's not real strong. But anyway, let's go look at the results and you can decide for yourself <laughs> what's the better one. So I'm at RV base camp. Here we have AT&T fiber. I'm going to do a, a speed test on my laptop. Uh, this is speedtest.net. And here we go with speedtest.net. Need the Jeopardy music playing. Doo -doo. I've already run this test several times in multiple uh, weather conditions because we had some heavy Texas spring storms move through yesterday. I didn't record that because I was still trying to figure out, learn what I could. Okay, so there's the results of that test. Now I'm going to switch over to Starlink, as soon as we're connected, now we're connected. Let's refresh the screen. And go. So 
So as, as you can see, there's there's real really no no comparison. I mean, I, I don't get me wrong. I think Starlink. We're gonna know more about the how Starlink benefits us once we get on a campsite. So that, that's our test with Starlink versus AT&T. So we are now connected to the Verizon 4G jetpack. And here is our speedtest.net for Verizon. I have five bars. a very pitiful upload compared to especially compared to the AT&T fiber all right now I need to go test the AT&T so now we're going to do a speed test with the AT&T modem built into the chassis on the Thor magnitude magnitude super c i'm using a free account that's why i have all these google ads popping up and it's must be right let's we better not try to upload anything here there's the results of my speed tests. Starlink versus AT&T Fiber. AT&T Fiber is the clear winner. Starlink versus Verizon. Pretty, pretty close. Uh, I think if we were closer to a Verizon tower, it would Starlink would probably be a little bit slower. AT&T, same thing. I mean, here, hands down, Starlink's the better mobile solution but compared you know if we weren't looking at going mobile which is why yappy got her metaverse job if we didn't want to be more mobile we would at&t fiber hands down better value uh, lower price and higher speeds and it may you know it may be different with the the pro the starlink pro option but for the cost I don't know, I have to think real hard about that because that, that's $500 a month versus the, the 100 and what's 110 now, 115. And the AT&T fiber is 60. Kind of a kind of a tough, not, not, it's not a tough choice at all <laughs> here. AT&T fiber, hands down. All right, so that brings us to the end of our little video and I, on how to get how to get Starlink in three days, or at least how I receive Starlink in three days. If you're a digital nomad, this may be good information for you. If you're not a digital nomad, you may not need to move, make the Starlink move yet. So if you found some value, entertainment, good information, please click on that thumbs up and share me across your social media. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, man, I sure appreciate it. Thank you so much. That's, that's why I do what I do. And for my patrons, you rock. I appreciate you. All right. Y'all come back now, you hear?